The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the April 5th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Would love to hear from you. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. But if you can't call in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject, and if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers, then well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got all U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's off 53, S&P 27, NASDAQ 100, 257, Russell's off 28, semis down 130. Trend is continuing their move lower off 285 points. You've got the spot follow till next. She's still above her 50 day or below its 50 day exponential moving average. Gold's off $6. Silver down two pennies. Lights be crude is up 43 cents. Lead the charge dollar wise, the upside. Restoration Hardware up 26 bucks. United Health Group 14. Pool Corporation up 11 anthem up 11 and o'reilly automotive up about 10 bucks to the downside it is amazon 66 bucks nearly two percent booking holding 65 dollars two and three quarters percent tesla's off four percent or 43 bucks mercado libre down 38 bucks three percent and google's off a little over one and a about one and a quarter percent or 35 buckaroonie so where do we want to begin i'll tell you where we're going to begin we're going to begin with uh, is this turnaround tuesday or is it the beginning of at least a uh, counter trend move or rally? Well, the answer to that question, we're just going to go take a look at the charts and see what they have to say. So now we're looking at is the NQ. The NQ, not uh, the leader to the downside, would be the semis. But we'll take a look at the NQ out here. And what we're going to notice is that you've got a uh, – now look at the bottom portion of our charts first. If there's going to be any kind of a bottom signal, we're going to see those turns on those intraday charts. Now here, I've gone to the super low uh, time frames out here. You've got the 5-minute, the 10-minute, 15, and the 30. 30. Five minute, you have a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Price is above the top of its profile. It says that price should go target 14,968. You've got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom on the 10 minute chart. Price right now taken on resistance, the top of its profile. That top of its profile is exactly 14,920. We're doing 149 we're, we're taking that on right now. You get a close above that. 14,954 slope. Now, you want to watch those green horizontal lines. You get a close above that. That's going to tell you about a further rally to come. If you look at the 15-minute chart, TD9 count, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, price taking on a brand new profile that's forming. The top of that profile is exactly at 14, uh, hold on a second, 14,926.00. Call 14927. TD9 count on the 30 minute chart. Price should go target. See how the oscillator and change line change colors? Price should go target it. That's the 14979 level. 60 minute chart. Very likely going to go ahead and form a TD9 count bottom by 2 p.m. If you get bar number eight at one, price would have to get all the way up to uh, bar number five, which is not likely. That's above 15,050 to negate that pattern. So it looks like you've got a TD9 count bottom on the 60 minute time frame chart. The 120 minute time frame, 
Not so much, not with regard to a signal out here. The five hour time frame chart price is pulled back to its bullish structured profile. A price on the daily time frame still above its green oscillator and change line, but consolidating with inside its daily profile. That range between 14,391 and 15,268. So, in summary, here you've got a rally attempt that is unfolding as we speak right now at 111. The key now is watching these uh, resistance levels. At least this is the NQ. The NQ is pretty good to take a look at to get an overall feel. Now, we can go take a look at the ES mini. Well, we're going to look at a, a little bit, a little set of different time frames out here, just so I don't have to wait for this thing to uh, to uh, completely change all these uh, these time frame charts. Here. So we'll just go to my normal eight panel ES mini chart out here. And on it, if we take a look at the 30-minute uh, time frame chart, no TD9 count bottom, but certainly man, not really any kind of a bottom out here other than price getting back to a breakout level of support. 60-minute chart, yeah, no bottom signal there, so to speak, nor on the 120, other than price coming back to support on the 120 at 45.40. TD9 count on the uh, 240 out here. Uh, price got back, but not all the way down to its breakout level of 45.30. So it's really going to be the NQ. You can see the ES here sort of not helpful to us with regard to uh, any kind of signal. Now, the ES is helpful from the standpoint that right now, on the daily basis, if you take a look at it, what price did yesterday, let's just expand this chart out. What price did yesterday was it closed above the top of its daily profile. The top of its profile out there is 45.51. We're trading at 45.53 right now. So, so far today has been nothing more than a test of that support level. And uh, so where do we go from here? If you close above that 45.51 today, you'd have two consecutive closes above resistance. That would suggest at least a run for the TD9 count on uh, top out there, that price level is at the uh, 4631 area. Is there anything else here on the ES mini? One slight more, po one, one additional slight positive is that on the weekly chart, you've had two consecutive weeks above its oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line is green. This is a signal that it really wants to head to higher ground out there. So to summarize, it's really those uh, charts in the NQ that are giving us a signal of a rally attempt. I can't say that this is going to be turnaround Tuesday, but we can say is you should expect or anticipate a further rally to follow out. Here's a couple of areas that price is trying to uh, get over in the case of the NQ, some of those resistance levels, but really looks like the 14... 954, 985, 968 levels should become the, and 14,979. All those are really price targets to the upside inside of the NQ. Now, one of the other things that we can do here, I think I have this set, I do. So let's go change our screens out here. We're going to take a look at the top eight instruments inside of the NDX 100. And uh, we begin by taking a look at Apple. And I know Mike uh, in uh, Mike, old Mike from Sarasota, he's now over in uh, Europe, uh, wants to take a look at Apple. We'll do that in more detail. But here's we take a look at Apple. What we know, it's got a TD9 count top and a price pulled back and tested and rejected its oscillator and change line. It did that on April the 1st, April Fool's Day. That was a bullish signal. But right now, all we have is Apple consolidating with inside its daily profile. Its message to us is a neutral signal, neutral to neutral signal. Uh, the consolidation level or the profile areas, resistance 179.61 and 170.79 is support. You got really the same kind of pattern going on inside of Microsoft, a TD9 count top, just a consolidation with inside its profile. It's above a green oscillator and change line. Therefore, its signal is neutral. Nothing breaking down. Amazon, I'm not sure why that big spike to the downside looks like a bad tick. Probably have to update that. Uh, in the case of Amazon, it has uh, its resistance up at the 34.28 level. Facebook is going to go target 248. That thing broke out yesterday. What I mean by that is gate of its TD9 top and signal. It's above the top of its daily profile. Facebook headed to 248. Steve Rhodes with TFN will be back in just a few. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Good to go back to those NQ charts out here. Duncan Steve in the Tiger's Den says, uh, um, NASDAQ just filled a 30-minute gap from Friday at 345, uh, maybe a short-term low. Question, do the 15, 30-minute gaps count as needing to be filled? Thank you. Um, so, it, uh, you know, you're looking at uh, probably either the indice charts or the Qs out there or something like that, where, where I use out here, Duncan Steve, is I use the uh, futures contracts. And the reason that I do that is because my patterns are about price discovery. So imagine this. We've got a TD9 count pattern. We've taken a look at those TD9 counts. So here's an example. We'll just open up the 15-minute chart for you. You mentioned a 15-minute chart and a 30-minute chart. I'll just open up the 15 out here. So in the case of the 15-minute chart, you're, you don't see any gaps. Now, you're going to get gaps either between the close of Friday. You could get a gap between the close of Friday and the open on Sunday. And then you can get them after the, uh, uh, after the uh, futures close uh, at 5 p.m., uh, and then reopen at six, you could get some type of gaps there. But for the most part, what I'm looking, imagine this here, we're, so we're trading nearly 23 hours, 23 hours, 15 minutes or so. And, uh, you know, imagine if I was only using six and a half hours, I'm not going to get the same type of counts out here. And we see each day how important those signals are. So for example, we can see the TD9 count bottom, we can see a roads momentum indicator bottom, here's the 15 minute chart. And again, the, the patterns, the cool thing about the patterns that I'm sharing with you is that they work for all instruments, all time frames. It doesn't matter whether it's a currency pair, doesn't matter whether it's a commodity, doesn't matter whether it's a future contract, doesn't matter whether it's a stock. If it's individual stock, you, you don't have an underlying instrument like the futures to be able to get those additional price patterns. So then we just have to use the six and a half hours worth of data. I do not use um, a pre-market or post-market 
uh, data on the uh, stocks out there. So it just uses a trading hour. So to answer your question, our bottoming signals, and I really covered that at the beginning with regard to the NQ our, our, or the NASDAQ itself, is really based upon the NQ out there. So I hope that answers your question. I recommend that uh, you don't have to trade the futures, but if you're trying to find bottoming patterns, or at least the ones that, you, that I share with you, you really should get access to that. So I hope that helps to answer your question out there. Let's go to another question that came in, the first one by email. This one coming in from uh, Michael P. Michael wants to take a look at the EWZ, so we're going to change, uh, well, just give me a moment here. I've got that all fired up, or I did have it fired up. Let's get to that eight-panel chart out there. And the question is, how does EWZ look? and or PBR, perhaps Blue Ribbon, we go with EWZ, which is the Brazilian uh, ETF out there. In fact, I'm going to change screens here real quickly. Let's go, we'll go back and forth. We'll go to the black background screen for a moment. What you're going to see out here, it's just easier to take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern that is underway. Now, the B point out here, was on the trading session of March the 3rd. Volume there, 31 million shares. When it was passed, it was passed with uh, 22 million shares. So lighter volume on the way up. I either way, you still have an A to B equals CD. And you're looking, you're thinking of, uh, you're taking a long position is what it looks like to me. Uh, and you're taking a look at the time frame of the next couple of years out there. It's, it's sort of how I read your email. But you're close to you're close to an A to B equals C D pattern to sell the D point. In fact, uh, today you're getting a bullish reversal candle. And so it may be close enough to call this a sell the D point. Right now it's a three river um, uh, evening star pattern out there. So that's the only bearish thing I see on the daily, and you're up towards the top of a potential level where a pattern would complete. The weekly says, hey, wait a minute here, Steve-O. I'm breaking above a descending trend line. It did last week, and so far this week, it's just coming back and testing that. And if it just tests and rejects that, that would be a bullish a sign. And, in, and with regard to Brazil, price is trading into a prior swing point. That was from June of 2021 out there. Could be resistance at about 4205, but clear that, and you're back at the 48 level. Now, let's go back to those white background charts for Michael and see what kind of other signals we can pick up for him here. We take a look at the monthly chart, start in the upper left. Again, nothing other than the prior resistance, which we touched upon. The weekly chart suggests it's going to go target the 41.33 level. That's its next TD9 count breakout level. You can also see price has been rising, doing a less relative energy. That's uh, those black diagonal lines. Now you've got the bearish reversal candle, or you may have the bearish reversal candle. Michael, this suggests that the EWZ should pull back at least to its green oscillator and change line, currently printed at 38.34. That's assuming you get that bearish reversal candle today. I don't know what the candle looks like at 4 p.m. It's only 122. If price were to get below that, then that's going to tell us about a further retracement. That further retracement could take us to the 34.45 level. On the intraday charts out here, the 130 has got a topping signal support being tested at 38.50. Topping signal on the 65, price holding the breakout level of 38.62. So that's really the area to watch. So I, I can't really suggest that you take this. I'd rather see you buy this on some type of pullback or retracement. So watch the daily. Let's see if the topping signal comes in. Then let's watch on a retracement how price handles that oscillator and change on a 38.35 in hopes that you can get this at a lower um, entry area. Where is that? I'm not sure just yet. Could be 3596, could be 3760. But Michael, I do hope that that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for taking the time to write in. The next question coming in from another Michael. This one is AAPL. Uh, this is Mike. Uh, I want to take a look at the Apple, formerly from Sarasota. I believe he's over in uh, Morocco or in the Morocco area. So that's a very cool thing. And uh, just interested in uh, the oscillator and change line and the TAS profile. So uh, that is loading up on our screen here. I'm going to get this going on my black background screens as well, just in case I need to oops, add some additional commentary. But actually, uh, you have to type in the symbol correctly. AAPL is the only way I'm going to get that uh, data. So now you should be seeing the white background screens for Apple. Michael's questions were trying to understand where the oscillator and change lines were. Well, on a monthly basis, price is above its oscillator and change line, which is currently printing out at 173.39. It's got a TD9 count top, so its signal is neutral. TD9 count top, roads mintum indicator top on the weekly. Price is above its green oscillator and change line. The green oscillator and change line there is 174.36. So its signal, neutral. TD9 count top on the daily time frame. Price is above its oscillator and change line, consolidating with inside its daily profile between 170.79 and 179.61. No real signals on the 195, nothing much on the one. 
30. Uh, nothing much on the 65 to help us with. Nothing on the 30 really to help us with. Um, so it's really just going to be those first four charts that we looked at. You also wanted profile levels. I'll read those out to you. Uh, the uh, daily time frame, your support is one. Well, we already did that, so I don't need to say that again. The weekly levels out here. The weekly levels, Mike, are 160.72 for support and 176.65 for resistance. On the monthly basis, old resistance, 168.79. That's the top, may become support. Bottom of that profile is at 140.48. So, Mike, thanks so much for listening in and uh, writing and uh, hope all is well for you over in Europa. We've got some questions inside the Tiger's Den. The first one was to take a look at a ticker symbol BTAI, Bachman Turner and um, I don't know who the I is. Um, I guess that would be me. Uh, so uh, let's go take a look at uh, BTAI and of course what band was uh, Randy Bachman a part of? other than Bachman Turner Overdrive, a great band, one of the best bands out there. A band from where? Uh, that's right, from Looneyville, from Canada out there. And that was the Guess Who. What a great band that is. But if we take a look at, there you go, Tiger TV, they got it. And so if we take a look at Bioxyl Therapeutics, that was what BTAI is. And uh, Dan, my apology, I don't recall what your question was, so I'm just going to have to just simply... And, just simply go back and give you, I guess, levels or something like that. So I'll tell you what we're going to do here. I'm going to go read what Dan actually wanted because we're going into a break here. When we take a look at BTAI right now on a daily basis, price pulling back, testing that green oscillator and change line after changing colors. As long as it holds that level, that would be a bullish signal. That is $20.37. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So on your screen here, you've got uh, BTAI and its uh, profile levels. Uh, so, uh, Dan, the, the nice thing here, so Dan is looking at this because they're coming out with earnings after the close. So you've got a new daily profile that had been new, but uh, the most recent daily profile formed below price. And that's really a bullish message. Doesn't mean price can't pull back, but it's a bullish message out here. If price did pull back, you'd look at 1863 to hold the support. Looking for any kind of clues out here. You know, you had... So last week and the week before, you had a close above the top of that weekly profile of 2142. So that looked pretty good. Um, real level of support now, you've got 1654 is the bottom of the monthly profile. So if there's a close below 1863, uh, 1654 is the bottom of the daily and actually the bottom of the monthly. So that should be your strong support level out here. I did see a consolidation pattern. Uh, that consolidation pattern, in essence, looks like this. It does not appear to be complete. That consolidation pattern, the one I would draw in, would look uh, pretty much like this here. And all we need to do is just move that consolidation pattern up. Now I, you can, you know, draw a secondary box. But it, you know, maybe it's actually completed, Dan. I mean, that's close enough for me. The uh, trade, uh, the trading day of March the 30th, out there. So as far as any other signals are concerned, let's just flip over, take a look at the uh, white background chart, see if there's anything there that um, sticks out at us. And when we take a look at the uh, Weekly time frame, no, nothing really that sticks out as there. The daily time frame, there's your consolidation. We already covered that. I would say that price holding its green oscillator and change line, as long as it can do that, and that's being tested today. That level right now is 2037. That would be a bullish outcome. The 195 minute chart, which means by the end of today's trading session, is going to form uh, bar number eight of a TD nine count. We know that the bottom can form bars eight, nine of the bar following bar number nine. So that's a possible signal. Nothing for you, Dan, on the 130. Price holding support in a TD nine count bottom that should form on the 65 minute chart. And a uh, 30 minute, uh, not so much. And the 15 minute, not so much there. So that's the information as we take a look at BTAI. I do hope that helps you out. We had a request. I apologize. I don't recall who had requested it, but it was for Walmart out here. And so we're going to let this uh, populate. And um, again, I didn't get a chance to write down what the questions were. It might have just been simply, can we just review it? Walmart is strong like bull. Now, when I say strong like bull, I mean, it's trading over its daily profile, its weekly profile, and its monthly profile. And what it's doing here, let me uh, actually get to a different window for you. We'll go back to those white background charts momentarily. But on the black background chart, which I think is what you should be seeing now, yeah. So price is taken on the all, all, I'm assuming this is the all time high. Let me just pull this back here. Yeah. I'm pretty, pretty sure it is. So it's dealing with that resistance here of uh, the December 1st high. That high out there is 153.66. Now, the volume on that month, that month was December of 2020, was 170 million shares. Last month, you were pushing up with 185. So we'll close inside that swing point. It really should go uh, uh, tackle those highs out here on the... Uh, I guess I drew in this little consolidation on the uh, weekly profile. So that would say if you break out of this consolidation, you've got a measured move. Uh, that's, let's see, 134 to 152. So you got, you know, another 20 points to the upside. It's saying the 170 level out there. Let me go back to the uh, white background chart, see if we can pick up anything there with regard to uh, Walmart. So you're up at these highs. Um, you know, there was the A to B equals CD pattern I was showing on the daily time frame. If there's no bearish reversal candle that forms its next upward price target is in the 157 level. As we look at the white background charts out here, what sticks out at us? Really not much. No topping signal on the monthly other back at resistance. It was a TD9 count top. Weekly back at resistance. The daily no uh, topping signal, although you could get a TD9 count pattern that could form between Wednesday and Friday of this week. But we need to come back to this probably on Thursday to see where we're at. In the account cycle, I don't really see anything here that is too concerning. There is a 30-minute Roach momentum indicator top of price above the profile levels there, so it's really more of a neutral type signal. So that's what we see going on with Walmart. I do hope that helps whoever had put in the request out. And uh, I think I've gotten through everything in the Tiger's Den, and if I have not, 
just taking a quick scan here. Uh, please go ahead and type it in, and we'll be happy to take a look at that. Now, going back to emails, we've got one here from Brent. Brent wants to take a look at natural gas. So let me see if I can get that started out here. Well, I know I can get it started. The question is how long is it going to take to populate these charts. So let's get uh, if you give me a moment, let's get the natural gas charts going. Uh, you're actually looking at a blue screen. There we go, though. So the white screen should start populating. Let me read Brent's question. And Brent's question was, hey, Steve, heard you mention that's gas at the top of the hour update. Could you please expound on that? Have a great weekend day. You do the same as well. So in essence, what I was saying there is it looks like natural gas is breaking out. Knocking on the door is uh, so, hey, uh, Lee Corso. He says, eh, not so fast out there. And you'll see here when the daily chart populates, the reason is because today is going to become bar number eight of the TD9 count. Now, that doesn't mean that today's going to be the high. It just says that today can be the high. And, uh, of course, the high could come tomorrow on Wednesday or on Thursday. So in that gas is, uh, so we'd have to be paying attention to that. Of course, Brett, you and I and everybody else inside the Tigers, then we'd be looking at those short-term time frame charts for topping signals. So now you get the daily chart. I just have the 30-minute chart to populate. I'll expand out the daily. And this is really the only potential concern that we have out here. So nice wide-ranging bar today. But again, bar number eight is bar number eight in a TD9 count pattern out here. Last TD9 count took hold, took price right back to the oscillator and change line. No reason to believe that this time would be any different. Of course, that top might not form until Thursday. Current oscillator and change line is printing out at 570. So on the daily time frame chart, and you also got a wave number seven. That's the letter G. You need a lower high to confirm that. So you got really potentially three topping signals that could be forming. You only need one. Weekly chart says, hey, maybe after you have a little bit of a respite and pull back, then they're ready to move higher. It's only in bar number six. Price wants to go take out the uh, or take take on the highs from 2014. Looks like at about the $6.50 level. TD9 count top on the 30-minute chart. Price is consolidated inside that profile and above its green oscillator and change line. So the signal there is neutral. 120-minute has a TD9 count top. That's going to go ahead and complete by 2 p.m. That says you could see price pull back to $5.98 out there. TD9 count your bar number 8 on the 240. But the 300-minute chart says, I don't know what any of you guys are talking about. And the reason is because it's negating its TD9 count top that took place at uh, this morning. That was at, what time was that, 9 o'clock? No, couldn't have been. Could have been. Yeah, it was at 9 o'clock out there. So, so the next bar finishes at 2, uh, which is another, uh, you know, less than 20 minutes out here. So, uh, Brent, boy, we've got confusing signals out here, right? Because the five-hour chart says I'm cruising higher. 240 says, yeah, be careful. 120 says, maybe not so fast. And uh, get the topping signal in the daily, I mean, in the 30-minute chart out here. So I just say caution. I think the charts are just saying somewhat to be cautious out there, Brent. Certainly not a time, it does not appear, to execute a long position. I am not saying, I did not say go short, natural gas. I said expect or anticipate some type of top to form and price to pull back the Tesla's oscillator and change line levels out there. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Next question coming in from SATP. SATP says, can we please take a look at Bitcoin and some thoughts on resistance? So I'll get those charts fired up here for you. I believe Bitcoin, we're trading the... April contract right now, but I'll go ahead and confirm that for you. Steve Rhodes with TFNN will be back in just a few. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be 
paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. 729-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it could seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Avery White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we've got the April contract for Bitcoin on our screen. We just start with the daily time frame. I'll just simply expand these charts out as we look at them. What we're going to see out here is you've got a nice little TD9 count top. So this bottomed with a TD9 count bottom back in February 24th, then top with a TD9 count high on March 28th. Now this, we can see here, sat that the uh, oscillator and change line changed colors from red to green. It does that on March the 25th. Tells us that over the coming sessions, we should see, once, especially once the top forms out there, we should see price and that line catch up to each other. Well, the test from two days ago was a bullish test out there. As price pulled back, test and rejected that level. Now, you're consolidated with inside the daily profile. So don't, uh, you know, because you got a bullish test, you still have battles. And that next battle really to the upside is going to be at the 48, 475 level. But you do have a bullish test out there. Its signal then would be neutral because of the TD9 count that needs to be taken out in order to change that signal. On the five-hour time frame chart, what do we have out here? You've got a, uh, you don't have any kind of a topping pattern. Maybe there's an A to B equals CD. What price did here was it simply pulled back to the breakout level, found support, and has just been, uh, you know, trading higher. It's now trading below the bottom of its uh, profile out there. So it could be signaling to move back to 44, 310 could be signaling that. I'm not saying that's what its signal is just yet because that bar has not completed. We take a look at the two hour time frame chart. Not a lot out here. There was a TD9 count bottom that formed on the uh, two hour uh, time frame chart. And that price went ahead and targeted this breakdown level. Just hasn't gotten up there. I don't have a clear signal here as to what it, its intentions are on the 120, uh, 60, 30. I'm just looking for anything that really sticks out. To us out there, I see a 15-minute, uh, you know, TD9 count bottom. I see a TD9 count bottom on the 10-minute Rhodes momentum indicator on the 
on the uh, five minutes. So the real short-term time frame chart just suggests we should see a further rally inside of uh, Bitcoin. Maybe it finds resistance at 46,374. You also wanted to take a look at ServiceNow. NOW is a ticker symbol out here. So we're going to go to our eight panel charts for that and uh, bisect and dissect it. So here, popping up on the screen, you've got ServiceNow. As we take a look at ServiceNow, what do we see? Well, on a daily time frame, kind of like many of the uh, instruments out there, you got a nice little TD9 count Rogeman indicator bottom this forms on march 15th what does price do makes a uh, beeline for its td9 count breakdown level that was at 593.33 so i tried to break out of that it tried to break out of that on trading day of march 29th very next day got back inside it so right now what do we have you've got price back inside its profile a close below 558.33 could result in a move to 535 or maybe 506 that's the daily time frame chart for service now if you're looking to buy that uh, right now, I'd say I'd put it in at the 506 type level. Got a wave number seven. That's a seventh wave move on the monthly chart. Price is pulled back to test support. Roads bit to indicator pattern on the monthly chart. Again, support holding. If support doesn't hold with regard to service now, that's at the 552 level. That would then suggest lower price. Lower price, I'd say, then would be the 457 area as a target. What else do we have? Not much. So because you're back below the red oscillator and change on the daily time frame and back below the uh, top of that uh, daily profile, you don't want to take any action right now. You could be getting a small A to B equals CD to the downside. So the swing point is just from a couple days ago. Sat, that had 1.9 million shares. That was April the 1st. You're at 651, so it's not exactly moving lower with volume. But still, if it closes underneath uh, 561.52, that's the high of that trading session for April 1st, still suggests you can get down and test the bottom. So hope that helps you out. Thanks much for writing in. That was your twofer out there. Let's see. The next question coming in from uh, Dan, Doug. Doug writes in. He says, uh, looking for thoughts on Ford. So let me get Ford uh, going here. Let's use Ford, yeah, for this set of charts. So this is the white background charts. It'll take just a moment to populate. Let's read uh, Doug's C's question. It closed its daily gap back on October 27th and is uh, bouncing on support. You don't see any strength yet. Please discuss uh, the, your opinion out here. Well, boy, Ford Motor Company is trading below the bottom of its daily profile, trading below the bottom of its weekly profile, and back inside its monthly profiles out here. So let's let this white background set of charts populate. So on a weekly basis out here, you're going to get a answer, Doug. Perhaps you're going to get an answer this week. Here's what you don't want to see. You don't want to see a close below bar number eight, the bar that uh, formed on March 18th, that low, 1551. Now, if you get a close below 1551, that's going to signal move back to 1262. That's coming from your weekly time frame chart. TD9 count bottom is still in effect. So it's still at support, the low of that trading session. The daily time frame formed a road momentum indicator bottom. The price is below its red oscillator and change line. So the question is, how is it pulling back to that swing point? The swing point I'm referring to out here, Doug, is the one from March 14th. That did volume of 66 million shares. You are at 61 million shares right now. That is not a good thing. Now, Ford on a daily basis, road momentum indicator bottom and wave number seven. That's letter G. By the way, Basil's got a workshop coming up. I believe it is next week. It's on a Wednesday. If it's not next week, it's the week after. Everybody should go to the homepage at tfn.com and sign up for that. And as while you're doing that, you should also sign up for the Tigers Den for the next year, full year, 365 days for $1 Mortimer. But in the case of Ford, if it takes out that swing point, the swing point is that March 14th low, that's going to suggest lower price. You're going to say lower price to where? I think we kind of covered that on the uh, weekly time frame, so that's what we'll stick with. On the monthly time frame, the other support levels are 1373 and 1508. I don't see anything good, meaning bottoming signals per se, on the intraday charts out here. So Ford is uh, tumbling down, doing it with volume, and it should go uh, tackle that low from the uh, trading session of March the 14th. Now, the only thing that I see that could stop that move lower is a rising trend line on a weekly time frame. I know you're looking at my chart saying, Steve-O, I don't see a rising trend line, and you're right, because it's on the black background charts, and now you see it. So it is at a potential area of support, but it's pulling back with volume. That's not exactly what you like to see out there, but that is what we take a look at, or what we're looking at here, uh, Doug, when we take a look at Ford Motor Company using both the black and the background charts out there. So I do hope that that helps you out, uh, you know, the closing of the gap. 
uh, is irrelevant at this stage of the game. Let's see. Do we have any other questions out here? Uh, we do. One last one here coming in from Jeff. And Jeff says, can you look at the VIX? You've got a possible nine count bottom today. Interesting. So let me uh, do this here. And the do this here is go change to a different set of charts. One where all I have to do is just put in one instrument. Um, well, they wanted somebody wanted me to take a look at uh, BAC, so we're going to do that. But let me put up the spot volatility next. I know you're looking at a blue screen right now. That's not the blue screen of death. That is the. Oh, why did not not take? Oh, because I used the wrong symbol, VIX out there. Use a dollar sign. So what we're going to do here, Jeff, is uh, get the VIX populated. I'm going to put this chart. I think this is the right uh, screen. Let me just make sure here. Otherwise, no, it is not the right screen. So we're going to pull it over here to this screen. Now we've got the VIX, the white background charts. You say you've got today as a nine count. I do not, Jeff. So here's my screen. If you're inside the Tiger's Den, you're seeing it right now. You can take a quick snapshot of it. Uh, if you're watching on Tiger TV, you can see my counts. Or, of course, you can get the uh, archive of this, which will be posted in a couple of hours. So I don't see a bottoming pattern on the spot VIX, that being a TD9 count pattern that you were referring to, Jeff. So I do hope that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for writing in. Folks, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back to, uh, I guess we we're at the, during the last segment to close everything out. There was a request to take a look at the Bank of America, BAC, I believe it was. So we'll finish that off. We get back from this break. She's trading out at 4045. Looks like it might be targeting the 3878 level, but we'll make sure of that by doing some analysis during this break. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So I've got the XLF up on our screen right now. Uh, Zip in the Tiger's Den wanted to take a look at BAC. And we're going to do that for you, Zip. But uh, the first thing, because you're looking for a place to add an entry point. So um, I want to take a look. What's the what's the sector doing? Because even if we can find a reason to add on a daily basis or any time, whatever the time frame is for Bank of America, if the sector isn't giving us a that same kind of bottom signal out there, kind of makes you be cautious. And really, when we take a look at the XLF, you can see the price is below its red oscillator and change line. This is the daily chart. Below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. And yes, it's heading back into the gap. We don't see any kind of a bottom signal here as we speak. And so this suggests this caution on getting into, uh, at least right now, with regard to long trade inside of Bank America. Here are the weekly chart, price holding that oscillator and change line, so that's resistance out there. Price, um, you know, it's kind of neutral signal, neutral to just neutral signal on the monthly time frame. So now we take a look at Bank of America. Bank of America is pulling back to a breakout gap. That was the gap that formed out here on uh, March the 9th. Make sure we're looking at the right screen. There we go. And it's doing on a lighter volume. That breakout gap was uh, 78 million shares. You're pulling back with 30 million shares. But you know, I prefer that it get all the way down to 39.66 zip versus right now as an entry point. Prices, um, you know, inside the support level of its weekly profile, it's bullish in structure. But maybe price is going to go target 39.36. That would then get you back to that breakout area, and it could actually get down to 38.77. So the answer to that question, I'm going to say, because you're going to add to a position, you're already in it and the XLF the sector itself looks a little bit uh, risky out here so I'm going to suggest that you uh, the entry area would be about 3878 here when I put up the XLF this is on the black background screens out here I believe we're on the black screens we are you can see that it has not made its way all the way down to the gap there and that would the XLF would be 3773 or 3691 so I say just be patient with regard to bank of america folks thanks so much for joining me on terrific tuesday stay tuned your favorite polar bear david white's up next tom o'brien after that i'll be back with you on wonderful wednesday have a terrific tuesday folks